So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. So in this uh, video, I am going to show you how to create attribute tables for point line polygon, or it can be any of this shape file. So for that, uh, we need a shape file. So this is my point shape file. So I'm going to just open the attribute table out here, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you can go to the option table options. From there, just select the option add field. So you can see here, you can uh, create, you can give uh, random names based on your wish. So, so these are the point uh, fields. So I'm going to give name for it. So I'm going to create an attribute called as name. So in type, we, we have to select text type because uh, you can see uh, around uh, six types are there, uh, which is starting from start, short integer, integers, long integer, float, double, text, and date. So basically, short, uh, long integer float uh, will be uh, having uh, numerical values. So in short, we can have a, a few decimal degrees. In long, in long integers, we can have a, as much of uh, uh, integer degree in uh, float it also supports uh, integers in double we can have the accurate level of uh, scale so we, we can use the option double so in text we can use uh, names and finally date for uh, giving dates etc so first I'm going to show you for uh, creating names so first select the option text here you can select the number of words based on your uh, limits so I'm going to go with 25 and just give OK so as you can see here the name has been created here so next thing is I'm going to create another field so in this I'm going to specify uh, So I'm going to give rankings for it and just give OK and the next field will be long integer in that I'm going to give population and just give OK so it has been created. So we can go to the option date and just give OK. So in order to edit, edit the attribute table and uh, fill data, uh, we need to go to the option editor and just start editing so that we can edit the attribute field. So if you click here, the point will be highlighted here that is the selected feature will be highlighted here if you double click it the feature will be automatically visible to you in uh, extended level so now I am going to randomly give some names for this so it will be a village village A village B so I'm just giving the names randomly. So I'm going to give the rank for each of this village. And specify the population. So in ranking, I'm just uh, showing you. So you can see here, the, the value you have entered is out of range or it is not a whole number. So, for example, the short integer is not supporting uh, values beyond a few decimal degrees.
So likewise, we can create a date for it. So likewise, we can create an edit in the and if you don't need it, just give all zero and go to the option editor and save it. It's just stop editing so that the data will be automatically stored. I'm going to just give zoom to layer. So in order to visualize our uh, attribute tables, we have to just select the option labels, go to the option properties, from there set, select labels, and I am going to select the name. So you can see here automatically the, the attributes identity will be displayed here on the polygon so thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to the special